hey guys so our 37th topic debugging actions i am going to show you one of the important documentation which you must not miss okay debugging actions so let's get started first of all you know what do i mean by debugging right there is a debug panel there are a lot many options here step over step into step out retry ignore restart focus breakpoint slow step execution trail highlight okay so these are the um, uh, banners available in the debug uh, tab now you must know all of it all of it you must be pretty aware okay now we'll be focusing on let's say step into step over step out how we know what what they are for sure okay but again what is the exact definition and how they really act is also we need to experience now anyone who is very new who is not having an idea on what is the step into step over simply type step over or step into uh, ui path you will find my video ui path step into step over and step out differences okay so this 10 minutes video you should so i have shown you in practically you know if you hit on step over what happens if you step into what happens so you can first of all practically see that okay first of all practically see that once you are done with that then or you are already aware let's move on to this specific document very important document okay here it clearly tells you debugging of a single file or the whole project can be performed both from the design and debug uh, okay where did i click okay so it has come so debug debugging of a single file or the whole project can be performed both from the design or debug ribbon tabs okay so just now i have showed you what is important to know all this okay i have highlighted even before my exam also i have highlighted and read through all the proper documentation this is important step into you step into to debug activities one at a time okay one at a time so this one at a time is important this what keywords are important when this action is triggered the debugger opens and highlights the activity before it executed remember it doesn't execute immediately it it will first highlight the activity before it is then you hit on continue then it step into then it executes first highlights and pauses there okay opens and highlights the activity before it is this words are very important because some somehow they will frame the question and you should you know it but you will fail because you are not able to and you know read through between the lines and understand what is the difference between all that so having a proper highlighted keywords in your mind is important when step into is used with invoke workflow file activities the workflow is opened in new tab read only mode and each so all these examples i have shown okay uh, in that video probably so please do watch it uh, and each activity is executed or you can do it on your ui path also you can do it okay Uh, each activity and executed one by one okay this is important step into f11 okay fine uh, they will not ask uh, what key don't worry about that um, but again how that functions practically how that function your understanding is important okay they will check your understanding step over okay step over unlike the step into action step over does not open the current container step over means the word itself is very clear it doesn't open the current container it opens the current container okay you should make the difference when use the action debug the next activity highlighting containers such as flow chart sequence and invoke so it will highlight and it will execute all the activities inside that okay without opening them this is important without opening them the action comes in handy for skipping analysis of large container which are unlikely okay okay fine step out so what also in the step over you will see when you do a step over once the everything is complete it will go and go to the next activity and pause there okay it will pause there so step over that means the container activity is completed now it is it will go to the below activity let's say invoke workflow file everything will be completed or invoke uh, uh, yeah so everything will be completed then it will move to the next activity and pause there so all this practically you need to practice okay and the same similar kind of questions are also there in the practice test you can just relate step out as the name suggests this action is used for stepping out and pausing the execution at the level of the current container this is important where it pauses at the level of the current container step out means it will uh, the actions used for st stepping out and pausing the execution at the current container let's say you are already inside a container inside the invoke workflow file there are activities and you want to you are you have done the step in step in step in now you are fine now you want to step out to the main main container so from that activity will go to the invoke workflow file and highlight and 
uh, you know it will complete all the rest of the activities and then highlight and pause there pausing the execution at the level of the container this what is important okay step out complete the execution of the activities in in the current container so read this okay i have highlighted the important ones next is retry retry re execute the previous activity and throws the exception so what is this retry here you have okay here you have the retry um, ignore okay restart you can see break focus so what does slow step does so this specific page you can highlight even more points debugging actions is very very important okay just type debugging actions on google you will find this page okay guys so please do follow the recommendations which i am giving and have a proper understanding your understanding is more important okay so have a proper understanding and go through this entire page and highlight the important points which i have highlighted already i've shown you but you should also highlight some of the important points okay so while you read through you will get to know so thank you guys for watching it we'll meet on the next content so you should prepare debugging actions any questions so as i said you should know all these buttons okay variable argument and while you are debugging then you have locals panel watch panel right uh, i don't know if it is if those things are there local panel call stack panel okay so i think there is a different page for that uh, yeah look at here locals panel call stack panel breakpoints panel watch panel immediate panel remote debug okay all this thing you should go through the pages okay what is this local panel is used what is this call stack panel is used for what is this breakpoint panel watch panel immediate panel what is the difference between local panel and immediate panel so all these things you should spend more time okay spend more time and go through the documentation make a note so don't simply read because you will be confused simply write it whatever you are learning just write it so it becomes quite easy um, to relate um, you know others keep on reading no you will be tired your mind will be tired so if you when you write and read it will become more easy so you know try the recommendations and uh, these are the local panel so all this documentation i have shown you what you should prepare and have an understanding on so you should do that okay guys so thank you so much for watching it let's move on to our next topic